Week 17, Music Makers at the Keyboard, Book 2. Let's go through what needs to be done. Oh, this week they have a new card. It's when the train comes along, and of course it goes in with all the other cards that they've been working on. These do not come to class. They're going to warm up in the key of the piece you're playing. Notice I'm not saying any more warm up in all the keys. They could, though. They could do C, D, E, F, and G and just do the warm ups. That's fine. However, now they have to think what key it's in. So they see when the train comes along, and that's in the key of G minor. So they find the G major. And then they have to think, hmm, how do I make that minor? And this note has to be altered to get that minor sound. Here we go. And the names change. La, di, do, re, mi. Okay. Now, when the train comes along is taught, I teach it over a two-week period. There are a lot of patterns in this one. And... Some of the children get it in one, but most children take two or even three weeks to learn this. When you put on the CD, you may want to work on the first three patterns and not all the patterns. So the first three patterns are La, Do, Mi, which turns into When the Train. The next pattern, Mi, Re, Mi. <coughs> And as you can see, part of the problem with this piece is it's very high up. Those are the two patterns they need for the beginning of this piece. Then they go back to the first pattern again, and here comes the third pattern. Re, la, do. Re, la, do. So now it becomes... Now, if they can get that much in a sit-down and they're comfortable with linking those three patterns, then they can move on to the next three patterns. Otherwise, let them stick around with that much. That's fine. Notice I've been just using an open fifth with that. Um, on the, on the uh, recording... the tooting of the train. They can make up their own arrangement. They go um, chug, 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 Now when we're doing the keyboard ensemble uh, or we're taking out the bars, they're learning a new chord. They're learning the four chord. expect them to find it but occasionally a student will try to find it and that's fun otherwise I'm not worried about it the next three patterns are la do re re mi re do la la do actually four patterns do ti la make all sorts of games. We will continue to develop this piece and I will take wherever they are and take them to the next step. Next on here says to learn John Kanaka if they haven't yet. Again that's an F. <clears throat> so they'd warm up in the key of F and then I'm asking them this week to work on playing hands together or adding chords. And once again they can choose th this chord and this chord or they can choose these chords if they have smaller hands. And then they're going to play their favorite songs in all key positions. So if they pick um, C the Pony, they've done it in E major. Why don't they try it in F major? They do a warm up. They can also play the reading piece, of course.
All right, so they've been playing. This should not take that long, and then they have a new duple game. They're taking out their pink cards, which are found at the front of their books, hopefully, and now they're moving to track six. And track six is going to be a little bit different because they're asking them to create a composition with three cards. They'll sing the first card, and then they'll add another card, and then they'll add another card, and they're expected to read through the whole piece, which is good preparation for the writing assignment, which is on page nine. Take out your pink duple rhythm cards, choose three cards for the composition, they place them in a row just like they did on the listening. They chant the composition, that means they actually speak the entire composition, and then they have to like it, and then they copy the pattern in the box. And as you see, the boxes are much smaller than the cards, so they have to figure out how to get those two notes into there. Then they sign their name, and then get to do it again. So they're composing, which is a lot of fun to do. If your child is reluctant about doing this, well, do it with them. Sit down and say, let's compose. Have them choose the three, sing them together with them, and then they can copy it. It only takes a moment. Once that's done, mark it off, and the writing assignment has been complete for the, for the week. They'll be really excited that they can come to class with their work prepared, and they've been playing every day. I hope you enjoy music this week.